Hi guys, it's Core here. I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible with the least amount of jump cuts. So let's go. Anyways, what is castrophobia? It's uh, a, an irrational fear that um, showcases a, a fear of falling into the sky or in my head like if I were to be the common trigger what would be if I were say in a road that's uh empty with sidewalks that hardly have anything uh on it like for example trees there's no trees and it was also slanted <laughs> And, and there's hardly anything ahead. In my head, it's a death slide. And if I were, let's say, walking or biking into that area, I my my mind would start to panic. <laughs> of course, I'm I'm not a flat earther. I just have this irrational thought ever since middle school. So yeah, castrophobia, fear of falling to the sky. And my trick, my uh, usual trigger is me being in an empty area, you feeling that weight, being in an open slanted uh, uh, road or, or area or space, sorry. And getting that feeling Oh, right, and it doesn't usually happen at night, because at night, you don't know if, you don't know how wide the slope is, and it hides the fact on how many buildings and back uh, trees and background things are, how many there are, <laughs> my bad. So, all right, here's three points I'd like to get down to before I go to bed. The potential causes, how it affects me, and what I'm doing to fight against it. So, causes. During somewhere around middle school, freshman, I'm sorry, first year or second year uh, for, for you uh, people outside of the U.S., there's three grades in uh, middle school, 6th, 7th, and 8th, and somewhere around 6th and 7th, I was in, so it first popped up around those two grades, and it was one time, I, I first felt it when I was in middle school, it was uh, PE, I was out in the open, sitting on the concrete, it was a clear weather, we uh, uh, the weather was clear, Kids were playing. There was hardly anything. And because my vision's wide, was just like yours, it was round. Now it's not completely flat like a video game. And I was on the floor. The sun was up. And instead of the floor being flat, again, like in a video game, it was more so round. And that mixture of things did spark a fear that I would still have and have not addressed until I was uh, until I'm 21 so shoot I'm kind of embarrassed of it because it's apparently a rare fear you don't usually see or hear a lot of people having it so what caused it so aside from that peculiar day in middle school what caused it okay so many things my uh my potentially uh uh mild autism and adhd that wasn't treated properly i think it must also be say 
potential anxiety because I do have uh, I have a few friends who pointed that out that I ha- that I uh, that I act anxious and that char- and one of them characterized me as uh, as an anxious guy. Mm, my overthinking I again my friends and colleagues have pointed out that I do tend to overthink. So anxiety, overthinking, invisible disorders. All right, so we've covered the mental part. So I did go on a lot of roller coasters and rides when I was a kid. So that must put me, that must be part of it. And this is also linked to my overthinking, but it's specifically me thinking of the world as say a thing too hard about the world that I'm on cuz I'm I'm walking on a sphere on on a globe on as if like you know Spider-Man walking with his two feet on a on a on a skyscraper that's what I kind of feel like on in this world of course it's the reality that we all must face Unfortunately, my mind does not compute that well. <laughs> and it really sucks because I'll I'll get into how it affects me later. So I I tend to think that I'm walking on the side of a wall uh, and, and on on this planet, which I I technically am. But I'm. I shouldn't really think too hard of it. Nothing, at least, at the uh, aside from the moment uh, when I reach my trigger, it. Nothing's not. Nothing's gonna happen, and. As an, it's next to none. <laughs> so. Okay. That those are the potential causes that I wanted to highlight and I would really like your thoughts on it because I really would love to stamp this fear out and it's honestly getting in the way of many things that I want to do but I well all right let's see how it affects me how does affects how does it affect me a lot. I live in California, specifically in Southern California, and ha- owning a car is a must because of our car-centric uh, infrastructure. And riding buses and using Ubers, it's not gonna happen forever unless you're rich. But um, I want my own car. Anyways, so I'm 21. <laughs> I don't have a car. And I'm behind on uh, studies, and I don't. I'm afraid. Uh, I already freak out a bit when I'm in the when I'm in an Uber ride. I I, I did have a noticeable uh, breathing in one Uber ride. Thankfully, she was understanding, and I don't really want to rely on public transport or others. I do want to live by myself sometime in the future. And it's just it's this is really isn't helping. So it affects the way I how I want to tr- uh get myself to places by car, but what about by foot? It does because one time I would I was making my way to the judo to a judo school in downtown LA and I, I just I again I was in an open area where there was hardly anything and ahead of me there was a there of course there was a street and there were cars it was kind of slanted and my mind started overthinking again and the background was blue. There was hardly anything. It was just, and my mind, 
immediately thought of this area as a death slide that I was going to fall off. And you know, I, I, I immediately turned back. And that, that's what I do. And when I usually face these types of situations, I, I just turn around and quickly walk away or in some cases run. And uh, sometimes I do, admittedly, if I'm alone and I feel the effects too harshly, I let out a panicked scream, but oh my! Th I can't. I'm thinking about that time where someone probably noticed it, and oh my goodness, I'm a bit embarrassed of that. Anyways, so it affects my the way I transport, and the, and the way I get to places by car or by foot or bike, whatever, it affects my job prospects because I may have to commute far and wide in in the near future. No, in the distant future. So that's how it mainly affects me. I want to go to Japan. I want to go abroad, but I got a dystrophobia is effing me up it's not i i really at first i just wanted to i just wanted to get a car i just wanted to get a better paying job but i i realized that doing what uh conquering my mind uh a battle that should have been uh well fought when i was a, when i was a kid but, but due to unfortunate circumstances, it hasn't. But it all lays on me for to continue this battle against my mind. And I have to what? Somewhere around 27 or my 30s to defeat or to, for the most part, defeat this uh, fear. Because... I can't live a normal life if I have this fear. All right, my possible solutions. Okay, so what I've been doing lately is increasing my knowledge of, say, well, I wouldn't say increase my knowledge, but I'm slowly getting smarter and smarter, learning how to cope with uh, stressful situations such as, say, being in an area that uh, flares my, I wouldn't say flare, but triggers my castrophobia. And what else? Other than learning how to cope with stress and situations such as that I have been also or uh, speaking uh, to a therapist about my issues and she's been uh, very helpful and I'm really sad to say that yeah last week was my last uh, time I was going to see her but hopefully sometime in the future I do get to see her but I will have a new online therapist anyways all right, so therapy, learning how to cope with stress. I've been learning more about my my invisible disorders, honestly, like I never had before. And I feel robbed. I feel robbed of the opportunities that I haven't gotten. I feel robbed of how I could have learned more about myself, how not just that, but also that I missed out on many opportunities, uh, avoidance of... Uh, embarrassing mistakes I honestly feel effed up because it had I known more about my myself and what uh, is uh, troubling me I would have done a lot of good back when I was and I would have done a lot better back when I was in middle and high school because those were my worst years they were and Okay, so 
Well, I bought books about how to... I bought books about uh, ADHD, autism, and I have an overthinking book on the way. No, wait, I already have an overthinking book near my bed. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So I'm learning more about myself. I'm learning how to cope better with stress. I've, oh, right, I'm using self-asserting statements and... Those have been somewhat helpful, but even after all of that, I'm still afraid of, say, again, falling off the sky. Maybe I'm thinking about a new, another fear, but I do, I, I, I still am afraid of falling to the sky. And that main cause is, say, seeing the reflection of the sky through a puddle or through, say, an ATM's, uh, screen during daytime or most importantly and, and more often being in an open area on a slanted open area where there's hardly anything going on around that area around that area so i've been most and the last thing that i've been doing lately is exposing myself to said uh uh triggers and you know, I've been handling them all right. I mean, I could handle them better. But I still can't help but breathe a bit faster or and harder. No, deeper. And it's just, it's too much for me. I still have a long way to go. And it really saddens me that I'm going to be yet again behind other people. I was again I was behind other kids in middle and high school and now I'm gonna be behind other people again. It really brings my confidence down. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's my rare fear. I'm probably not gonna edit this, so actually I'm going to edit it. But I'm gonna put less jump cuts. So with that, with all that said, thank you so much for listening. Hopefully, I'll give you guys an update on uh, if if there's any big progress, if well, if I ever if I grow out of it, and that it, this fear doesn't consume me because I don't want it to. I really don't want it to, and I'm hoping for the best while doing what I can to mitigate this issue, and. Well, I'm off to bed. Thanks for listening. Take care.